Uh, I'm Luke and I'm 26 years old. Uh, I work full time. I really like hiking, uh, biking, swimming. Uh, so I have attention deficit disorder. Um, people with ADD have problems focusing, uh, paying attention, staying on task. Uh, the thing with like ADD, it's your brain chemistry, so it's always present. But it was starting to be like more problematic in like junior high and stuff like that. I kind of got to the point where I was like, I don't think most people's brains work like this. And so I did an online test. I scored really high uh, for ADD. And then I saw a psychiatrist who actually gave me the diagnosis. Um, we found a medication and stuff that helped work for me. You know, it's natural uh, for people to be sad in their lifetime. Um, but depression, like, it's always with you. It kind of like hangs over you like a blanket. And like even times where you should be like having so much fun, um, you're being with your friends and stuff like that, you still feel it like tugging at you and just kind of like weighing you down and you can't really enjoy your life. And so, I don't know, I you know, started to go into like a bit of a depression. It was probably in my teens when I realized I wasn't, you know, heterosexual. Like I grew up in a very small town um, and people just weren't, uh, didn't have enough exposure. So I think a lot of those negative stereotypes like just continued to like circulate. And so I had to like kind of suppress like any of those emotions. So being gay in a small town um, made my depression worse because, you know, I was already kind of going through it, so. Being gay and being depressed are independent of each other. I just happen to have both. <laughs> I was feeling really isolated. I didn't feel like I had like a lot of people to turn to. I was getting bullied in school, um, but even still, I, like I kept it on the inside a lot, and I didn't talk to many people about it. Some people have thought, you know, like I should just be able to get over it, just suck it up, and like move on. And it's just easier said than done. You can't just suck it up. If it was that easy, then I would have done it. And I don't know. I was just kind of always like afraid to go to other people for help. And I always wanted to just kind of like do things on my own. You know, I just, I thought it was a sign of weakness if you had to ask someone for help, which I later learned in life is totally the wrong way to go about things. I didn't really see things getting better. Um, I thought it would be better to not exist than to feel like that. And many people didn't realize how bad like things were for me and that you know, I was actually seriously like contemplating suicide, and that I was like a threat to myself. I was 17, and I tried to commit suicide. Uh, I was hospitalized for two weeks. Uh, that's when people started, you know, intervening in my life and realized, you know, how like bad things were for me. I didn't start medication right away. Um, but then eventually I did because I thought, you know, I was getting better, but not as fast as I wanted to be. Medication, it's not a cure, but it definitely helps. It helps me like reach my potential. Whereas before, I'm just kind of like too scattered and like not able to stay on task, not able to get motivated. Um, and I think it's good that people aren't just so willing to put their kids on medication but it really helps to know that people have support um, and they have people that can they can turn to and just to have someone listen helps a lot. If you go to your family doctor um, and talk about it, maybe um, you can start like seeing like a psychiatrist or a therapist, um, maybe like medication if your doctor thinks that's appropriate solution for you. Um, but don't just let it go untreated. Like sometimes I'll hear people just saying like, um, you know, like, oh, so crazy or whatever, making jokes about, you know, like bipolar disorder or things like that. People say like, you know, like emo kid or things like that. Um, and like, I don't know, the word emo comes from emotional and like, I, I don't think it's a bad thing that I have emotions. Like, <laughs> um, it's part of like being human and People are talking more about it. It's all about communication. The more people talk about it, the less stigma there's going to be. And that's why I've kind of chosen to share my story.
I went on medication and I was on medication for a few years and then I felt like I was in a good enough place uh, to come off of it and so I did with the help of my doctor and I'm like doing so much better and I don't feel like I need medication for depression anymore. And like I said, you know, sometimes, you know, I go through a rough patch or whatever, but that's part of being human. 